Hello, so we're back and this time we have a beautiful laptop, Asus VivoBook i7. So this is a nice laptop. Let's see what the customer is saying. The customer is saying fault not uh, powering on. So we know this laptop, it is dead. Can we check that? Yeah, let's plug a charger. Let me see what charger needs. USB-C. Okay, let's plug a charger. Okay, so plug in the charger. The meter it is coming on. Check here, check here. And is restarting? Yeah. So this one is restarting and the other port, this one. Same thing. You can see the meter is just looping. So basically it's taking no power at all. Okay, let's open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside. Maybe we can spot the fault quickly. Easy pizza? Hmm? It's Friday, by the way. It's Friday. Pizza for Friday. What can be better? Huh? Two pizzas for Friday. That would be better. Okay, so the laptop, it's open. This is a nice motherboard. Can I... Yeah, I think something is blow up there. Yeah. Here. So check there. Do you think that component is blow up? Let's get a microscope. Maybe I'm wrong. Nah, it's nothing blow up. I seen those diodes and looks like a cheap, a blow up chip. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. No problem. Even better if nothing is blow up. What we are checking first? Huh? First, we are checking the main power rail and check here. We have a bunch of capacitors, which most likely are on the main power rail. Let's check for short. And we have zero ohms. Check on the screen. Zero. We have zero ohms or we have zero ohms because the battery is plugged in and we have voltage. Let's see one more time. No, no, it's shorter. It's shorter. Uh, so this it will be a easy pizza, right? Yeah, it must be. Okay, let's uh, let's get the heatsink out. Or you haven't seen actually the short is like zero ohms. Huh? Means a blow up capacitor most likely. Yeah. Finally, I get lucky. Finally. Okay, so let's grab the power supply. We have the power supply, we have the ground wire. Yeah, HDMI port is fine. Perfect. Let's lower the voltage because we don't need that much voltage. 4 amps. Yeah, that, that's okay, 4 amps. But the voltage, let's go down to like, well, like 0 0.9. And we are coming exactly here. And it's taking, oh, it's taking like 2 amps. You know what, can be, can be something worse. Can be something worse. I mean, the current is not that high, so that means the sure resistance is not that low, however, how I thought. But it can be like a capacitor with high resistance, can be. But most likely it's a MOSFET. Or it's a DR MOSFET we have here, DR MOS. Let's see. So coming, we power here. It's taking like 2 amps. Don't tell me it's the CPU. Huh? It's not the CPU? Oh, lol, what is that? What is that? Where is it? Here. One second. It's a capacitor. I can't believe. That's crazy. I believe it's this capacitor, this one from here. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, I feel the smell of pizza. 
can't believe. <laughs> Lol, it's not a capacitor. Okay, take my words back. And actually, actually, uh, the, the motherboard has burned layers. I can't believe. I mean, it's not bad. But why something like that? It will happen. Or is the capacitor actually? I mean, here are burn layers clearly. You can see it's black. Huh? Or not? Or just the capacitor? Let's remove the capacitor. Now, we will not gonna use, uh, say hello to my little friend. We're gonna use the hot air. Let's see. Mm, any more air? Any more air? So let's go to fifty percent air. Four hundred. Ah, okay. Was I was on like three fifty degrees? Okay, four eighty degrees. Fifty percent air. Perfect, so we remove the capacitor. Let's clean just to understand what is there. Huh? It's looking good. Let's check for short. And it's not short anymore. LOL, so if I'm going now, so check here, yeah, if I'm going on those capacitors, here, no short, I mean all those capacitors are on a parallel mode, nothing, you can see, it's no short anymore, means the laptop is working, hmm? let's see, we need the heatsink, yeah, we have a heatsink. We need power. Uh, USB C. And the meter, it is coming on. Check that. 19 volts, 1.1 amp. Ah. The fan is spinning. Let's see. Okay, the fan is spinning fast. It's too hot. I can't believe. But what is the picture? We have picture! That's crazy. So only that was the problem. And it's loading the windows. Okay. Let me unplug the charger because the CPU is mad hot. Wow. I can't believe. Such a hard job on a Friday. <laughs> okay, okay. The thermal paste is kind of dry. Yeah, it is dry. Let me clean it. I mean, the thermal paste, it, probably this is from the factory. I mean, it's half on the, on the chipset and half is not. Huh? So cleaning the CPU, perfect, it's like brand new. And the heatsink, let me put back this sticker, which was like that. We need some thermal paste, a good one. Huh? A good thermal paste around here. Yeah, MX4 is fine. Uh, I do have the MX6. I test them, but I can't really see a difference. Now, I've seen the reviews and they're saying MX6 is kind of better compared with MX4. Well, from what I see, uh, it's not that much difference. Perfect. Good. 
Now let's put back the heat sink. But you know what? I was like, uh, uh, I, I got a little bit scared when I seen that black mark on the on the on the board. I said, you know what? Maybe probably it's like burn layers. It's actually not a capacitor. And also because because the capacitor had like high resistance, and I come with like high current. The heat spread was a lot. Yeah, it was the area was larger. Good, perfect. So the heat sink is back on place. Plug in the battery. Plug in the charger. Uh, we don't have a BIOS battery. So yeah, the board is coming straight away on when you are uh, disconnecting the battery. Yeah, I can feel the CPU, it's warm. I really like this uh, heatsink on the M2 drive, it's like pure copper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have picture. So everything is working fine. Let me shut down the laptop. No, I can't shut it down. Why the laptop is not shutting down when you keep, when you hold, press the power button? Oh, it's doing updates. So let me understand, this laptop died during the update? Interesting, interesting. I mean, yeah, it's no connection between a capacitor and updates. But, you know, quite a coincidence. Fun is spinning, the heatsink, uh, it's warm. Doing updates. Yeah, you know what? This is this is this is done. This is fixed. Capacitor replacement on the next video, yeah. So keep your eye on the channel, and we're gonna replace the capacitor on our next video. Huh? What do you think about that? Hmm? I mean, I don't know how to take the capacitor out from the laptops, and you want me to put put them back? <laughs> That's crazy. So what we are doing on the weekend, huh? Sunday we can have a coffee together. What do you think? Hmm? I can't. <gasps> I can't Sunday. No, I have. Uh, I have to go to my with my daughter to. The, she has like fly lesson. No, no, no. I at like ten o'clock. No, no, no. After. We can have a coffee about one o'clock. What do you think about that? One o'clock? Yeah. So Sunday, can, coffee cannot be in the morning. Only if they cancel the, the fly lesson. Yeah. In that case. But the weather is looking good for Sunday. Otherwise... Uh, a cool video is coming with uh, all my tools, yeah? All my tools, everything what I have here, it will be on one video because people ask. And the most asked question is about my power supply and uh, the way how I'm, I'm connecting the USB-C uh, cable to the power supply. Good, it's still doing updates, restarting. Let's see, charging. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Four amps, check there, four amps. That's about 80 watts with 20 volts. And he's still doing updates. Okay, I will not keep you here. The laptop is working fine, was a shorted capacitor. The capacitor is here. We can check the capacitor actually here. And the capacitor resistance is. 0, 06 and my multimeter has 0, 03. So the capacitor resistance is 0, 0.3 ohms. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Have a beautiful weekend and uh, see you on the next one, right? Yeah, I still have a few jobs here. Probably I will upload a video tomorrow. Bye. Hey.
If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.